down all the mushrooms she has been known. Um, when I spoke for her last year, she had been sentenced in 2017 to 10 years of prison um, for speaking out, uh, or what was called propaganda, speaking out against um, human rights violations in Vietnam. Um, but there is some, actually some really good news. Um, so late last year, um, she was released. Um, and she has subsequently been exiled and has been given sanctuary in the US with her family. So she's going to be reunited with her family. So this is wonderful. Um, so I thought um, I would read something which um, is for women who are silenced and who speak anyway. Um, so, we ride the tram in different voices. Mother of vibratory field, or nourisher, or giver, or destroyer, Ma, Ga, Gaia, blessings to you, so mote it be. Where are we? We're in Blackpool, Lancashire. The tram with the rocket lights goes from Stargate all along the prom to Fleetwood Ferry. Old Norse sun goddess Sol rides a chariot of horses through the sky. Come, sea wolf, swallow us whole, riding our tram chariot through the darkening sea, sky, sea, sky, sea, as the sea wolf swallows the sun and carries it in her belly. Gosha, O oh, rattling trams, O oh, sun, your radiant chariot, whither goes it on its way? Hypatia teaches us her geometry of conic sections through the eating of a 99. Reserve your right to eat, for even to eat wrongly is better than not to eat at all. Stop at the van next to Queen's Promenade and buy a vanilla Mr. Whippy soft scoop with a Cadbury's flake for 99p. Carefully and quickly scoop out a triangle shaped section of delicious pale cream sweetness from one side of the cone with your tongue. The curve created if you draw a line from one edge of the triangle ice cream hole to the other is a hyperbola. The ice cream is so delicious that you cannot help but immediately repeat this action until a bigger section of the empty cone is exposed. Now the curve drawn from one point of the cone to the other is a parabola. Soon you will have consumed enough that all sides of your ice cream cone are visible, making what looks like an uneven circle. Excellent, you now have an ellipsis. Now, to see the final conic section, you have two choices, dependent upon the levels of air temperature, proximity of remaining ice cream to an incompressible fluid that conforms to the shape of this container but retains a nearly constant volume, independent of pressure and pain caused by spinopalatine ganglioneuralgia, or brain freeze, um, you can either sit tight and wait for the internal energy of the remaining ice cream to become su sufficiently agitated for the phase transition from solid to liquid to occur, thereby causing the uneven surface to right itself and for the ellipsis to become a perfect circle. The correct conclusion to this procedure would then be to remove the bottom tip of the cone with the front top and bottom teeth immediately clamping the lips around the small aperture, sucking out the remaining melted ice cream from the bottom, and subsequently enjoying the concomitant moistening of the dusty, sweet, sovereign, non-sacramental paper-like wafer. By both historical accounts, I was flayed to death by oyster shells, the skin raised entirely from the body, and the limbs burnt at the Christian altar for an argument I was but bystander of, through jealousy or perceived threat to masculine reason. Marjorie Kemp. This creature, being of years 15 and some, walked across concrete path in battered trainers, sundial full of sand, and was within short time fighting against the devils which made turns around in her breast. Anon turned the mind of this creature towards devils and dark spirits, for dread she had of damnation. Afro Ben. Under a rickety pier made for love, silent as yielding maid's consent. She, with a charming languishment, permits his roving teenage hands to push up her dress. Phyllis Wheatley. Aurora hail and all the thousand hues which deck thy progress through Satsuma blues. The sun, she dips and wide extends her creamy glow. On every ridge of sand the shadows flow. Emily Dickinson. I saw a light, it thrust its beam across my path. My path did swerve, the light did cut its way inside to cleft my blackened heart. Gertrude Stein. A sea is to sky, is to sea, is to sigh. To sea is to sigh, is to sea, is to sky. Mina Loy. 
The tram with the rocket lights strove into colours, fluorescent sunflowers towering over the tower incandescent with spectral lights. We are dinosaurs kneeling and kissing the foot of we know not what at the shrine of your relieving exoskeleton. June Jordan. At the foot of the tower, our own shadows disappear at the feet of thousands for whom I cannot speak and yet for whom I must speak, rising like a marvellous Apollo. Fertile, even as the first woman whispering, there will be fire. Gloria Anzaldur. Esta puente mi estalda, esta puente mi estalda, this bridge called my back. A woman is more than fences, a woman is more than sculpture. Fuck though it hurts so, words can't get out, knowing now, though somehow I will. Looking ahead, knowing, not knowing, pretending, not knowing, dumb words, words like grunts is all. She clocks off at ten, weary down to the core of her everything sore and her wanting to find other answers to questions that fray at her headache and brain. Like, are you a burger or a hot dog? Burger, hot dog. Your glances aren't mutual, this body is legitimate. It will make it. I, would I, I, I would. It's not warm, you're not wrong. She had me, we all can say, she had me. Monstrous birth, except the first, to some. What is birthing? <coughs> birthing when tis wrong. No shapes left to fit. Other dimensions. A voice is birthing. Rendered material. Rendering. Nothing but your own ragged renderings. Your own shorn <coughs> sharpenings. My voice as pencil. Sharpened and the bits you discard. Voiced detritus. If tis a thing, a thing tis. Prove through doing. Leave to rise. Leave to prove. Play to something. Ragged reroutings, mother of the vibratory field, the piss brown sea, the ovary cradling sea, a wave on, and cradled in your sludgy belly, the yellow, aging, darkening sun. Solace of passes, spindle work on show, the leg of a pier, pins out. To suck in the stomach, I mean really suck in the stomach on your tiptoes, firming the calf and sitting down, pulling up the quadriceps and feeling them taut and feeling your torsion, now that is love. Squirling down in your seat, screwdrivering down into one point underneath you on this wooden bench, now that is love. Lifting yourself up by your arms, now that is love. Lifting the bucket and lending the bucket, not minding the horror stained bucket, now that is love. Pegging out my smalls, now that is. Sticks under the pier and being high, and dropping things, and stones being quicker. Grabbing on suddenly, without deciding, now that is love. <laughs>